Now that we have Valentine's all done and over, it's time to roll out all of the Easter things at Dollar Tree. Come shop with me and I'll show you all the new stuff and I'll show you a little haul that I did. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are heading out to Dollar Tree. Come with me, I'm gonna show you the new stuff and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I bought in a haul right after. Lots of fun Easter things going on at Dollar Tree. There were some repeats from last year, but I wanna show you some things that caught my eye that I really did think were cute. These little hand tiles are new this year. They have chicks and eggs on them, plus this bunny one's cute. But I really liked this burlap sack, which you could put a whole bunch of treats inside. Look how fancy this is. It looks very, very expensive and comes with a tie to close it up. Very, very cute. There's a couple to a pack. These were from last year. They're little bunny tails that you could put on your Easter basket. I got them last year. I thought they were adorable. And these were also from last year where you paint your own ornament. These work really, really well and I highly recommend them. Just double check to make sure that they aren't broken before you buy them. The Easter egg is my favorite. Of course, there's some name brand Easter egg dyeing kits. So if you find one you like, definitely grab that. And then these were new too. They're little stickers that you can put onto your eggs. There were two different sets, one with the pirate and one with the googly eyes. You can pick which one you like and there's a whole bunch of stickers inside so you can decorate your eggs. I found these pom-pom kits which are also new. This set makes a whole bunch of bunnies and this one does a bunny and a chick. These make multiple little figures or little pom-pom animals. I think about six to each kit. These are okay. I tested them in a Dollar Tree toy test and they're just pieces of paper you paint. These are foam craft kits that are new and they're just basically peel and stick stickers onto the large form or really fast and easy craft. I thought this was really interesting. It is a ping pong ball shooter where you put it inside and squeeze it out. I'm not quite sure if I want this one around my house, but it was kind of funny. The tic-tac-toe boards are usually staple around this time around holidays at Dollar Tree. This year there is a bunny and a chick. Really, really great Easter basket filler. And of course, what Easter basket would be complete without a set of bubbles or even some bubble necklaces. The carrots were my favorite. And of course, every holiday season, there is a new set of stampers. I just love these. And let's not forget about the erasers. Checking out a couple of the Easter buckets here. I like these because they're kind of that tin material and they're really, really cute on the outside. And of course, if you need some stuffed bunnies, they got you covered there. In the crafting section, there's a whole bunch of ribbon, really, really pretty things. And then you can use this to make some great gifts or wrap your Easter baskets in. And I know a lot of you like to use this to make wreaths along with the decorative mesh. And they had a whole bunch of that and some really, really pretty sparkly colors too. I didn't find that many this year, but I did see some window clings if you like to decorate your window. I feel like these were around last year. They are Easter baskets that are kind of covered in a fabric. They had a couple different styles to pick from in colors, but these have to be my favorite. These look really, really expensive. They look like a burlap with some gingham print on the ears, and then there was a pink one with some polka dots on the ears. These were really, really cute. I don't buy much of the signage, but you can definitely find something that you could put in your house to decorate. Cookie cutters are a huge hit in my house. We use them for lots of different activities. And of course you can't go without some Easter eggs. We stocked up on these last year, so I don't need any this year, but this year's selection is pretty cute. And I do see some repeat styles from last year that you can find something that every kid would like. Let me show you a little bit of what I found in the gardening section. It was quite extensive this year, particularly at this Dollar Tree. Lots of items to choose from for your garden. I haven't tried them all, so I wanna hear if you have, if you have any experience. The hummingbird feeders are back along with the, the hummingbird food that you can make for them. And also the planters. I love these planters. I got one in each color. And I also got this one too because I thought it looked really expensive. And they had several different styles you can choose from and sizes. Quick note, if you give your child a bath, so get one of these for a dollar to save your knees on your tile floor, you'll thank me later. I found lots of different seeds so you can start your own plants and garden this spring. Many things to choose from. I've heard great things about the gloves and I've also heard that the gardening tools are good. I haven't used them, let me know if you have. Over in the kids toy section, found something new. These little tube kits of crafts and science experiments, I think. Not 100% sure, they're very, very new to me. I found a couple here, truth or myth, um, beads that change color, and it looks like they have some activity cards inside of them as well. 
My store seem to have gotten a shipment of some really, really good books, storybooks. I see Dora. I see all kinds of action characters. I also saw a couple of novels, like little short novels. Keep your eyes peeled for those because those would be great Easter basket stuffers. In the craft section, mine seemed to have been just stocked and I found some really, really cute stuff. One of the things that caught my eye were these canvases. Look at these, you can buy these at the craft store, but they had several different styles to choose from, several different um, sizes. This one came with three inside. They had some packs that had two, it just depend on what kind of size you want. You can make some really great art projects with this. And speaking of paint, I really do like these paint palette sets. There's six in here, definitely a good deal. They brought back some wood craft kits. I see a couple new designs, a car. There is a uh, tree house, which they usually have, but this one is also, I think, new, which is a bank palette knives. I'm going to use these as play-doh and clay tools. If you haven't tried the finger paint, you're definitely missing out. I have yet to try these paint rollers, so I'm not quite sure if they work really well. Let me know if you have. I definitely want to hear. And if you like Montessori activities, the wood dowels are back. You can definitely do some really great things with this for learning. Over in the office supply section, I found a few new things. One of them were these were stamp rollers. I saw these stamps before and I mentioned them in my last shop with me. It looks like there's only a couple left in my store, but these were definitely new. They're self-inking roller stamps. They had several different designs. Uh, I saw some flowers. I saw, I saw some squiggly lines. I saw some hearts. So definitely a new find that would be great for decorating envelopes. If you're in the need for scissors, the Westcott brand is in Dollar Tree every now and then. So if you see them, grab yourself a pair. And I mentioned this in another one of my hauls. This line seems to be new, and this is the only Dollar Tree that I've ever found it in. But it's so cute. They have notepads and erasers and post-its and all kinds of fun things in the same kind of pattern. I did end up picking up one of the notepads, and I really do like it. I think this is new too. It's a colored paper cube. I don't think it's adhesive. I just think it's a regular notepad, something that would be great to keep by the phone to take phone messages on. And there's some new styles of the expanding file folders. This is like the coupon size or the checkbook size, different styles that they had before. So if you wanna get one that's just a little bit more fancy, now's your chance. Jock came out with a stencil wheel, which I'm not quite sure why it's in a wheel, but there are several different styles that you could pick from, flowers, birthday themes, love themes, butterfly themes, and it's just a wheel of stencils. And don't forget to check out all of the new stores containers the new colors for spring are out I'm a liking the purple of course I want to start off with the Easter stuff that I got which isn't very much I do have to say just because I feel like I have a lot of the things already but I got some of the new things the first was this pom-pom kit you can make six there's bunnies and little chicks and it has everything you need to make it with instructions on the back I thought that since this was a new one that we'd give it a shot to see how it goes although we don't need to make six it might be fun to try we could have a whole little uh, set going there. Very curious about this one. I haven't seen this product before at Dollar Tree. They are stamp markers. So there's only three in here and the three different colors. And there's, I think, a marker on this side. And then on this side is a little roller ball stamp. Um, maybe need to put this in a Dollar Tree toy test to see if it actually works. I don't know. We'll have to try it out. I did splurge on these little uh, egg kits only because I thought they might be fun to put some stickers on their colored eggs We usually dye our eggs, but this one had a pirate theme and I mean come on who doesn't love pirates This one has a googly eye theme and they're just stickers. That's all they are. They're just stickers They're face stickers and I thought we could decorate our eggs with these um, Just for a little bit of variety in the, their little Easter basket section. They had these new uh, Building block sets. They're called my world. This one has 26 pieces. It's a little desk and a computer. This one is a swing with 21 pieces. This one is a little vanity dressing table, 25 pieces. And this one, I'm not even quite sure what it is. It says happy holiday on here. <laughs> it doesn't say anything other. So I'm thinking it's just this table is what that is. I'm not sure yet because we haven't opened them up. These are going in our Easter baskets. They are seemingly different than the My Blocks brand, which Dollar Tree traditionally carries. And they did have a whole bunch of kind of cars and military themed sets too. These are just more um, probably up my girl's alley. So I didn't get the other kind, although we have tried the My Blocks cars, which are great. So we'll see how these go after we 
open them up for Easter. So they're just gonna be added to our Lego kits once we're done with them. This one I actually found by the register. It's an LED glow art kit. So basically like a light bright. It's really small <laughs> compared to my hand here. I'm gonna put this in a Dollar Tree toy test to see if it actually works. So be on the lookout for that upcoming video because I don't know. I, uh, well, we'll see. We'll have to see how it does. If you've already tried those, let me know your experience down below in the comments too. I'm curious to hear. Also new in my store were these little tube activity kits and um, they had several different types. This one looked interesting to me. It's called Worm Goo. Uh, sticky icky fun and five activity cards inside. This one is called instant freeze gel. So it's magic. Who knows what that means? And then they had a couple other kits that didn't look as interesting. So I thought I'd try these. These are also gonna be put into a Dollar Tree toy test video coming up too. If you don't already know, I do Dollar Tree toy test videos where I take some Dollar Tree toys and see if they actually are worth your dollar. I have a whole playlist of those if you wanna go back and look of every toy that I've tested so far. I was actually surprised to see some new books. The Step Into Reading books are usually at Dollar Tree. I found a Wally Kazam one and then this one I'm not familiar with this character. I think it's just a generic um, book. It's called Freckle Face Strawberry. Uh, these, I feel like there were more. There was a whole bunch of maybe superhero ones and some other characters. These are just two that I thought my children would like. And I found some storybooks with stickers. This one's Jasmine and this one's another Wally Kazam. Once again, they had several others, including Dora the Explorer. And then uh, Max and Ruby. We kind of have a sweet spot for Max and Ruby in our house. Uh, it's just one of those things that we like. It's on Nick Jr. if you haven't seen it. And this is just a sticker scene book with a story inside. So, I mean, it's super cute for Easter, bunnies, you know, the whole thing. So these are all new finds but I feel like my selection in my store is a little picked over so you might have a better or different selection in your store with some other books. In the craft section I was so surprised to see all of the canvases. I chose these. I think we're going to do some sort of a wall art project with them. So there's two in this pack. There was different sizes. These are the five by seven. They also had bigger ones that had one in them. Um, really really surprised. I got the kind that was kind of like a flat flatter one. There's one that has maybe a a different border it's a little bit thicker of a canvas I guess is what you would say so they had quite the selection very very impressed because um, that's a good price two for this two two for a dollar uh, granted just have to see how they hold up though when you're actually painting on them but I might not even mind because they're a dollar I ended up getting one of the stampers, the self-inking roller stampers. This one's in a flower print. We're gonna test this one out, see if it works too. Um, I haven't had any experience with these, so I wanna see if they are good or not. And then these stencils. I got a stencil wheel just because I was curious. Actually, what piqued my interest was this little picture here on the uh, craft paper wrapping because I do have craft paper and I do wrap gifts that way. And so this one is a, um, a birthday theme. So there's little candles on here and you turn it around, there's balloons balloons and what else do we have I think we have a happy birthday and a cake so I'm not sure if I'll even end up using it that much but even if we use it once or twice it'll probably be worth it they had several different other styles maybe five or so different themes that you could pick from um, I'm hoping that they bring out more things like this from Jot because they're just a lot of fun and very creative kind of crafty things. Two things that I did get, paper clips and the copper. They do sell these in bigger packs. This has 50 in it, but you can get a really large one of like colored paper clips. I just liked the color. And then crayon sharpeners. Have you guys tried these? There's two in here. I don't know. I'm, I wanna see if they actually work and my kids like to sharpen things. So we'll see if these are functioning. I feel like they've been there this whole time and I just didn't know. So if you try to let me know, but um, we'll see. They had different colors too. So I got the, the two colors here, the red pinkish color and the blue. I wanted to also point out something that I got. Um, I went over to the 99 cents only store and they actually had the canvases we got these from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day, but I didn't see any Easter ones at my Dollar Tree. So at 99 cents store, or 90 cent, 99 cent only store, that's a hard thing to say, uh, they had the Easter themes and I have two out of the four different ones and my girls really did enjoy these and then displaying their little easels. I like that it comes with the easel. So if you're looking for these, try the 99 cent only store. In the hardware section, I ended up picking up two of these cases. These are so good to store li little small Lego pieces, little tiny things that, you know, 
they get lost everywhere. So I usually have a couple of these on hand because I use them all the time. Beads, sequins, googly eyes, everything. And then I got these two sets, which my husband's probably gonna think I'm so silly to get. I got a screwdriver set because I'm constantly opening battery doors and his set is in the garage and I'm just gonna keep this nice and safe inside my desk for when I need it, along with this precision screwdriver set for even smaller ones because you never know when you're gonna have to open a toy to fix it. And so I'm gonna keep these aside in a small little pencil pouch in my desk. So that is everything. What are you looking for at Dollar Tree right now? I wanna know, leave me a comment down below and talk to me, I love it when you do that. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.